Day three of the Austrian Darts Open, the round of 16. Prayers for Poland. Would the darting god shine down on Tito? Or would the Mohawk man strike with some lethal venom? We got some sweet Caroline, but no duet this time. The spider saying, uh-uh, on a super chin serenade. Would the Austrian love affair march on for Menser? Or would the machine rev loudly? to quiet the crowd, plus voltage and the bronzed Adonis today on High Roller Radio. Yes, finals day in Graz, two sessions starting with this, the round of 16, hashtag ET5, hashtag ADO19. Commentator Dan Dawson breaking down all the action for us on social media alongside Rob Malarkey and Paul Nicholson in the comms booth this weekend. Fine work as always, boys. Nine Darter announced at Tom Sports Journal. A big thank you to our good friend Tom Beresford for posting this video of William O'Connor. Fantastic stuff indeed. The Magpie nailing perfection at the Pubs and Clubs All-Ireland Singles event. Great reactions too. What a week it's been for Willie. First, a Players' Championship title. His first ever on the PDC and now this, the very fine nine, well played, sir. Also have to show you this, from former guest Jeff Smith, a picture of a Hollywood superstar playing darts at the Silencer 170 saying, even Jennifer Aniston uses windmill dartboards, hashtag choose blade. Smith with a nice plug right there. He, by the way, is sponsored by Windmow. Okay, our first match featuring Michael Van Gerwen and Stephen Bunting. No problem for the world number one. Winner announced the PDC. MVG becoming our first quarter finalist with a comfortable 6-1 win. Dominant reported Modus Darts. V. Lennon yesterday and V. Bunting again this aft. Is MVG on the way to winning his 32nd Euro Tour title tonight? We shall see. It's a definite possibility. As Luke Jones states, MVG can shift through the gears effortlessly. He went from averaging in the late 80s in the early to mid parts of the match to finishing with a ton average. He then asked the all-important question, will anyone be able to stop the green machine plowing his way to another title? Time will tell. Stay tuned. Peter Wright versus Titus Kanek, our next match. All snake bite early. Up a break, leading 3-1. A couple of maximums along the way. The pole fought back, though, for 3-2. Then again for 3-3. Wright held for 4-3, but again, Kanek leveled. Ninth leg, terrific dart. Snake bite, tossing in two 180s. Kanek also had a max. And then a dart at double 11 on the 142 finish, but no, just missed. And we got some emotion from Peter when he pinned it. Turned to the crowd for the reaction, but look at this. Made a mess in the madhouse in the 10th leg, and again, Kanick tied it up. Would have the darts as well in the decider, but no, he just couldn't close it out as Snakebite survives, advancing to the quarterfinals with a break of throw. Nailbiter, 6-5 the final. I made it tough on myself. I missed too many doubles, he said, but thanks to the crowd, you guys are brilliant. They love him in Austria as we take one look at his flashy trousers dartboards today. Gutted for Tito at the moment, said Frankie Pohl, Poland's number one darts fan, but I am proud of his performance this weekend. Hopefully he can continue this for a whole season. The big man can certainly play. How about this big man? Adrian Lewis taking aim on UK Open champ Nathan Aspinall. How about it? Double six for a 4-1 lead. Wow, 80 cruising along to leave the ass backstage shaking his head. Tough day at the office. You can see it on his face. Just wasn't his day. 6-1 he loses as Jackpot cements his place in the last eight. We both played as bad as your guitar and singing. Jackpot cracking a joke on the PDC's new MC, who's been quite entertaining this weekend. Obviously, 80 thrilled with the result. Adrian looked assured, creating many chances noted at Vintage Jackpot. Fancy his chances today if he plays with such confidence. Time for a super chin serenade. Unlike Boris Koltsov, who took part in the Sweet Caroline duet yesterday, Mark Webster did not. Webby all business. 
putting all his focus on this one. Big chance here against Daryl Gurney. He won the first leg, but from there, it was all Northern Ireland. Super Chin tossing in two 15 darters and a 13 for 3-1. At 3-2, Webster landed this maximum very nice, but he missed darts at double, and Gurney pounced. A timely 98 checkout for 4-2, and he knew how important that was. It was the difference. He ran the table from there for a 6-2 victory. Webby had opportunities, but the world number three advances. It was all right, he said. I could have won 6-0 but I'm glad just to get the win. Then once again, the MC got him to sing Sweet Caroline with the fans joining in. Lucky or skillful D? More skill than luck of late. Darius Labanowska's throwing some fine tungsten. What kind of reception would this man get? Gerwin Price, Gezi, and Gratz. Well, as expected, the boos and whistles rained down. Didn't seem to phase him, though, seemingly in better spirits today. Was liking the scoreline early, too, as he raced out to a 4-1 advantage. The Lithuanian, though, showed some heart and clawing it back to even. Taking three on the spin just wasn't enough today. It was ales from Wales from there. Price holding in the ninth leg, then firing in this maximum in the tenth. How about it? The fans cheering that one on. The Iceman's fans now? Well, maybe not, but he was victorious. 6-4 the final. And yes, he did do the interview. Short and sweet, but he did it. A bit up and down, he said. My doubles were good. Okay, time for the gentle. The Austrian love affair continuing for Menser Sulovic. Menser Mayhem, the walk-on first, then the onstage pose, arms raised, Playing James Wade and in tough today. The machine lost the first leg, but followed with 11 and 12 darters for 2 1. Had a 161 checkout in there. We got the apology from Menser after he broke back straight away. But check this out Wade on 81 after 9 darts, and yes, another 12 darter on bullseye. That is how you quiet the crowd. Double six was next for this reaction. Turn to the spectator suggesting you can't bother me. Wadey wins it. 6-4 the final. Menser is a great dart player. I wish him all the best, he said. I'm lucky to go on further in the tournament. Rob Cross waving to the fans once hitting the stage. Then a best of luck to his opponent, Steve Beaton. How about the bronze Adonis? Tall, tanned, and terrific to start. Larger than life after holding for 4-1. He made it 5-2 on this double seven. That was an 86 checkout. Beaten, unbelievable on the outer ring at 71%. He goes on to a dominating victory, 6-2 the final. That's how I play most of the time, he said. I played well again today. He then added, I love the atmosphere and I love competing. What a player, 55 and still alive. Would we have some pink power in the finale? Keegan Brown having fun with spectators before his tilt with this guy, Ian White, walking on. And we thank at the darts bulletin for the result, a blowout as the diamond dabs his way to the last eight with an easy 6-1 victory. There you have it, the round of 16 complete. We'll play Play down from the quarterfinals to your champion tonight. Crunch time in Austria today on High Roller Radio.